The Hill is a collaborative work comprising text by Max Porter and engravings by Hilary Painter. It was published by Nomad Letterpress in 2023 in a limited edition of 900 copies. Here I'll be looking at one of the 874 ordinary numbered copies. There's no slipcase, but we receive a book with boards covered in a very nice charcoal grey Fabriano paper. It is printed in black with an enlargement from one of Painter's wood engravings. Overlaid on top of the grey paper is a strip of ivory-coloured Bougra Bouton that stretches across the front and back boards. It is printed with the title and author's names to the front and a small typographic ornament on the spine. This contrasting overlay gives a distinctly modern sensibility to that classic design I mentioned, and I like it. The sewn binding has silver end bands, and the end papers are a black laid stock. The book contains 36 pages of zircon mold made paper. The top edge is trimmed while the bottom and four edges have been left with a decal. The hill is printed on some of the last sheets ever to be produced, which is a real shame because I'm very fond of their cotton rich fine papers. Here's something cool. Turning past the end papers, we get our first blurry glimpse of the title page. Blurry because it's viewed through an intervening sheet of translucent paper. We are thus invited to peel our way through the mist, turning the page to reveal a clear view of the title. It certainly gave me a minor thrill of exploration and is a feature that will be repeated a few pages later. The title page is a simple affair, but this gives maximum exposure to the title itself, which has been elaborately carved into wood by Hilary Painter. Painter's engravings throughout are richly detailed and bursting with life. Some have multiple layers of interest receding into the background, others are packed with features to entertain those willing to spend more than a few moments looking at them. There are 10 illustrations ranging in size from almost full page to miniature vignettes. This number does not include the engraved title or the small engraved NL on the colophon page. As one would expect from the press, the reproduction of these intricate engravings is flawless. Max Porter is an award-winning author, perhaps best known for his maiden novel, Grief is a Thing with Feathers. Like that book, The Hill occupies a kind of liminal territory between prose and verse, and has a distinctly experimental flavour. I think it will be appreciated particularly by my British compatriots and others who can decode the minor and mundane cultural references that are littered throughout. The text is set primarily in Walbarm, with the occasional use of Stern Pro in various sizes. It is also arranged artfully on the page, sometimes in isolated fragments, sometimes wrapping around images, sometimes even spilling over onto the adjacent page. Typographically, it's a pretty interesting book to look at. In sum, this is another great example of fine press publishing from Nomad Letterpress. I see it appealing not only to those who follow the steady flow of material coming out of Whittington, but those who know and like Max Porter's writing, those who appreciate fine wood engraving, those who enjoy books that evoke a bucolic England, and those who are looking for a way to sample modern private press publishing at a modest and reasonable price. I'd gladly recommend the book to people in all of these categories.